Hi guys, welcome to Abjada. In this one, we are going to look at Daisy UI, how to install it and how to use it in SwellKit. Uh, now, this is going to be very straightforward. I feel Daisy UI more like Bootstrap, you know, which works with Tailwind. So, let's see how to install it. So, I'm going to install SwellKit first. Um, give me a minute. Swell.next. next. I'm going to use a skeleton project and then I'm going to install all the dependencies by running npm install. Now daisy UI can be used with other CSS but I'm going to use it with Tailwind so I'm going to install Tailwind as well. The way we install Tailwind in SwellKit, the easiest way is uh, like this npx uh, svelte add. There's a nice utility at latest tailwind css so this would add all these configurations for us now we have to run npm install because it doesn't install the dependencies okay once that is done i will see how this looks like Okay, so this is how it should look like when you are on uh, when you are using Tailwind because these are pretty much on the style. You have to handle the style on your own. Now, let's install Daisy UI. So it says you know this is it. Let's do that here maybe. So once Daisy UI is installed, we will have to uh, make some configuration changes here. We'll have to add that plugin. So I will see how to use it. No, sorry, install it on Tailwind. Yeah, so this is needed. Require Daisy UI. So I'm just gonna add it in plugin here. This should be this should be enough, I think. Now let's look at this yes so it's it's actually updating it detected daisy ui right away now i'm gonna create something that is specific to daisy ui let's look at something simple like a button so adding btn is enough for a button so let's uh, create a button call it button if you look at it uh, it doesn't have any style so let's add a class so if you remember bootstrap uh, we used to do this right so it's doing it it looks weird dot uh, yum 10 or something I'll have a margin around it so that it looks good yep so this is how a button would look like now let me try something complex the dot uh, i'll have the same margin but i'll use some some other component here that could be good. Um, but there are some new components as well. I'll try the drawer thing. This is like you know opens a menu for us. Let's see if this works. Having it, uh, maybe I don't need a margin. I'll just have it here. Okay, a tag uh, should have href. That's what uh, the error is. Awesome. So if I just have just that, it would actually look like a like a sidebar of a nice like a website. So yeah, check this out. Daisy UI is nice. It has a lot of uh, components. I think it can uh, save a lot of time for you while developing a website. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.